In this video, we are gonna show you how to integrate CyberSource to Salesforce in just a couple of moments. Let's go. All right, well, first off, install both the charge and base package as well as the charge and orders package. And you can put both of them into your production organization. Next, we're gonna configure Chargent. You've got some tips in the quick start guide, but that's really why you're on this video. So now here in Salesforce, we're gonna need to get into the Chargent setup wizard. To do that, I'm gonna click on the waffle, which takes me to the app launcher. And then I'm gonna click the Chargent option on the screen. Once I'm in Chargent, I'm simply gonna go to the gateways tab and click the new button. Since we're setting up CyberSource, we know that we do have a Payment Gateway account, so I'll click Yes. And now, we just need to find CyberSource and click Continue. Here, we're going to put in our Merchant ID, which is also likely your Organization ID, and also your Merchant Password. All right, now it's time to get the Transaction Security Key, and for that, we're going to log into the Business Center. I'm going to click Payment Configuration, I'm going to click Key Management, and then generate key. In this case, I wanna click transaction processing and then SOAP. To get this key, I'm just gonna click once on the key itself. I'm gonna use Control A to select all and Control C to copy. I'm gonna pop back over to the charge and setup wizard and I'm gonna use Control V to paste into the security key field. If you'd like some more help with any of that, just click this View Gateway Documentation link, and that's going to take you to the companion page for this video, where you can find even more details on how to make this work. I don't think you're going to need it, because you should just click Sign In, and here we can see that our credentials have been successfully verified. I'm going to click Continue. Next, the Chargent Setup Wizard asks if we should use tokenization. Chargent strongly recommends that all of our customers use tokenization. For more information on that, check out our explainer video right here. Do be sure to consult our PCI guide for information on complete details about configuring Chargent to best reduce your organization's PCI scope. All right, next up, we've got currency. What are you gonna be using? On the screen, you can see the most popular ones with our Chargent customers. Do keep in mind, we support all government-issued currencies that are supported by your gateway. Next up, are you going to use Payment Console? We sure hope you will. We think it's a very slick way to take payments. Uh, this is letting us know that the system is going to send an email on your behalf requesting the key. When you do get that, please bring that in and put it into the system to make sure everything works. All right, what payment methods will you be accepting? Credit card and bank account, sometimes known as ACH, e-check, or direct debit. And then, which cards? So sometimes folks don't want to take American Express, so I could just toggle that off. I want to take all of these in my org, so I'm going to click Continue. One of the nice features of Payment Console is that there's a number of different ways that you could set up the buttons. You may want to do your charge button, you may want to just update a token, or possibly uh, you need to do an authorization and you don't need to do charge. Simply just toggle whichever ones you need for your process. And that's it, congratulations. In just a quick five minutes, you've successfully configured your new charging gateway. Let's take a look at testing next. Okay, well now that you've got your gateway set up in Salesforce, it's time to do some test transactions. And we wanna do this to ensure that Chargent was set up correctly. And also, this is a good way to get to understand how Chargent is gonna help you take payments inside of Salesforce. Now, this is critical to your success as a Chargent user. You have to complete extensive testing. Remember that this is your payment system. No organization will survive if they cannot get paid. And if you fail to test, there's a good chance you won't get paid. So please, take this seriously. At a minimum, you're gonna to wanna to create a few test charges right now. So you can see the Gateway Setup Guide for some help with that. And you can also take a look at some of the other videos on this channel. Okay, just a quick aside to talk about sending transactions in the Salesforce Sandbox. So, when Chargent is installed in the Salesforce Sandbox, transactions, they're always sent to the Payment Gateway's test account or their developer environment. We do this as a security precaution. We wanna prevent real transactions being accidentally sent from your Salesforce Sandbox environment. 
When Charging is installed in a production Salesforce environment, the test endpoint checkbox on the gateway record will allow you to select between sending payments to the live or the test environment. So quick tip here, there's a few exceptions to this rule about having different endpoints for live and then for test. So just note that we documented them in the companion page that goes along with this video, uh, which we did link below. In those exceptions, there will be a single endpoint to send the transactions to. And then there'll be different credentials for live versus test. It's just something we want you to be aware of. Refer to your gateway setup guide for additional information that's unique to your gateway. Again, you'll find that in the description below. Well, that's it. You just integrated CyberSource to Salesforce in minutes. It's pretty impressive. I'd tell my boss if I was you. If you got any questions, just reach out to us here at Chargent. We are always here to help. Hey, thank you for watching our video. And while you're here, please subscribe to our channel. Click that notification bell for immediate updates. And if you'd like to talk payments, please get in touch. We're always here to help.